All right, so um, a paper was laying. Oh shit! Okay, um, hold on. Okay, uh, a destroyed computer with a bookshelf, but above the shelf, a paper was laying there. Yada yada yada. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. I uh, went back a little bit there. Okay. Um, look, it has an article about the Crystal Star. Pichu said. Um, let's return to our room to examine it with everyone else. Mario said, and they agreed it. But just as they crossed to the other side, Jolene was inside the room, and she noticed them. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing here? She looked at the paper. And what's that you're holding? I'm sorry, but I have to confiscate it. She took the paper from Mario's hands. Now return to your room immediately, she said before leaving. Oh man, she took our evidence, Yoshi said, disappointed. Um, and I was hoping to use my Apollo Justice's skills on her. Chris thought disappointed with blue text on his words. What does that mean? What's what's an what's Apollo Justice? Is that a movie picked up or something? Hold on. Let me conduct some research. Apollo Justice. Let's learn about Apollo Justice. Oh, he's a character. He's an he's an he's an attorney. He's a lawyer. It's a video game about being a lawyer. That sounds that sounds fucking fun. <laughs> what do you do? You just sit in courts for hours and just sort of like as they sort of painstakingly go over uh, each minor piece of evidence. And just like buy a yacht with the uh, with the tears of the victims of the families of um, the families of the victims of uh, rapists that you helped set free. That sounds fun. Anyway, um, yeah, okay. Let's return to our room to examine it with everyone else. Mario said they agreed, but just a little bit. Oh yeah, okay, sorry. Um, and I was hoping to use my Apollo Justice's skills on her, Chris thought disappointed with blue text on his words. Anyway, let's go, Mario said, leaving the room with them. Arena versus the Shell Shockers. Say a bad word with censor. Mario, HP 25. Yoshi, HP 10. Pikachu, HP 25. Pichu HP 20. Um, Mario's team were fighting against the Shell Shockers. There were two Shady Coopers and two Shady Paratroopers. Thunder! Pikachu yelled, launching a strong but not so powerful Thunder, dealing six of damage. Thunder! Pichu yelled, casting a less stronger thunder, and he received one of damage, but the attack dealt three of damage, and the Shady Coopers were defeated. Beep! They said a curse or a swear in unison, and the crowd was left speechless. The winner is the Great Gonzalez! Grubber announced over the mic. Ha! Take that! Pikachu taunted, and the crowd went wild. Hey! Somebody yelled from the crowd. It was one of the iron clefts from before with his brother, and they jumped to the arena, demanding another match with Mario. Gonzalez, we're here to take revenge! Prepare yourself! It's like a uh, fucking WWE. Um, um, screw that! Yoshi said, gulping one of the iron clefts, launching him to his other brother, and they were defeated in less than five seconds. Wow! The great Gonzalez showed him who's the boss round here! Let's give him more cheers! Grubber said excited, and the crowd goes wild again. But I did all the work, don't you see? Didn't you see? Yoshi protested, but Grubber ignored him completely. Major League Locker Room. As usual, Jolene gave Mario his salary, and she left, muttering something about a paper. Their rank rose up to seven, and he received another email, but... Um, Q 
keep sticking your noses in where it doesn't belong, and you are D-E-A-D-M-E-A-T. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking he isn't our ex-buddy, Yoshi said. Let's take this as a threatening email, Chris said. Oh, dude, they're getting cyberbullied. They need to call the cyber police so they can backtrace that shit. You know, consequences will never be the same after after they smack those fuckers down. They'll they'll show them who's boss. The the anonymous hacker known as 4chan will never live to see the light of day again. They'll get the fuckers. I can't be the only person on earth who found that the <laughs> The bullying of that thirteen of that thirteen year old girl to be really fucked up though. Like, eh, it's she's not really cyberbullying. Cyberbullying isn't real bullying, she could just turn off the computer. It's like yeah, she could, but you know, people are addicted to uh, technology, so it's easier said than done. Hmm. What I can't remember was it uh, Jessie Slaughter? Was that her name? Something like that. I was thinking Victoria Justice, but that's uh <laughs> that's not her, that's someone else. Um uh, yeah, uh, it was kind of, uh, I don't know, I, 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 I used the, the popular memes, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, that got to me, alright. I don't know why, but I have the feeling that Jolene is that mysterious ex, Pikachu said. Um, you're giving quick results, but without proof, Fox said. Leave him be, because I know Grubber is that mysterious ex. Chris said. No, it's Bandy Andy, Falco said. All right, you either have a rivalry with that bandit or you hate him, Pichu said. I hate him. Thought so. Ellipsis. Lucario didn't speak and Chris looked at him. Lucario, you know something about that ex-person? Lucario hasn't done shit in this whole chapter. What's happened to him? It's like, uh... It's like to love... <laughs> Alright, sorry. I'm sorry to drag this off on another brief aside, but uh, I have a guilty confession to make. Um, I don't read, uh, I don't read manga, because it doesn't interest me, but I did read, when I was about 12, uh, and, and I had a burgeoning sexuality, I did read this one called To Love Roo, um, which was, uh, really quite something. It's sort of the archetypal, sort of pervert, um, shitty, fucked up, misogynistic, um, manga, I guess. Yeah, I was probably the target audience, uh, at the time. Um, but, uh, you know, um, <laughs> one thing I noticed, and actually, um, uh, Demolition D pointed out in his, uh, uh video analysis of the anime, was that, uh, <laughs> You sort of you sort of have the main the 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 leading female character who's this Lola or something like that I can't remember her and it's something like that and she's an alien uh, she basically she's a a, a big titty human with pink hair and a tail um, but sort of as 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 the series goes on she sort of she basically keeps getting relegated further and further back until she just sort of. She's totally inconsequential, and sometimes she's just sort of placed in scenes just so there's someone there. Because it just sort of, he gets caught up with all these side characters who are apparently, you know, so much more important. That, uh, you know, whatever overriding narrative the series may have had gets lost in the flood. Um, yeah, and that's, that's sort of what's happening to Lucario at the moment. That was a very long-winded way of saying that... Uh, or a channel of Chris is, uh, slash Wee Boy Chris isn't talking about Lucario so much of late. Um, whatever. Ellipsis. Lucario didn't speak, and Chris looked at him. Lucario, you know something about that X person? Ellipsis. Ah, you're thinking right. I really admire you. <sighs> Wake the hell up, you dork. Who? What? When? How? Lucario asked in shock as he woke up. Chris sighed. Nothing. Please calm down and don't fall asleep just because you didn't talk so much in this day. See, they even acknowledge it. I mean, you know, To Love Roo is sort of, <laughs> you know, fantastic. People really, people, I, I, I must have been, I, I must have been the only person who read that thing and didn't, like, masturbate to it. <laughs> I don't know, it, it's weird because I read the whole thing, but I, honestly, you know, people make jokes like, oh, watch it for the plot. 
read it for the plot, but I actually did. <laughs> That's the thing, you know? It just sort of, it, to me, it was just uh, a crappy high school story where every, literally every single female character with a name uh, ends up naked at frequent intervals. Literally, without exception, everyone from the protagonist's sister to every last alien to the sort of the, the clones and shit. It gets weird eventually, and they, they do try to introduce a story. I, there was like a spin-off thing called Darkness. I didn't read it because it was... Well, I read like the first two chapters of it. It was kind of weird, but they, it did seem like they was trying to introduce a plot of sorts. But yeah, no, I, I, I read it not for fan service. I read it because I was genuinely interested in the prospects of, um, you know, what a what an alien uh, girl living with with you would be like. And uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I, I'm serious though. It's it's really it's really weird. But uh, yeah, no, that's uh. It was, uh, I, I, I didn't, like, uh, that's, that's how fucking weird I was as a, as a 12-year-old. I, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't, uh, yeah, did nothing for me. Sorry. Maybe it's better that it's that way. You know, I don't, I don't fall in love with cartoon characters. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'm the freak. I don't know. Probably am.